show you guys my magic mirror that I created with an entryway mirror. You can see it from the side. Can't tell the display, but as we get closer, here's my magic mirror. The top left, I put my calendar. Tells me what I have to do every day. And on top right, I just have the weather with intervals of three hours and then the next four days. In the bottom, you have quotes here. You can see. So I set it up as an entry mirror. So as I say, walk out the door, I can easily put like an umbrella and my coat and I can see what the weather is as I walk out, as well as the appointments that I have every day. I can also show you the back side of it. It's quite slim. Just a small piece of wood in the back holding the display. And I'll show you guys the back of the actual mirror. So here's the back of the magic mirror. Okay, now I'll take it apart. There's two screws holding it in place, or well, holding this back plate in place. It's mainly for protection. Go, so. This plate comes off. You can see it's mainly this frame that I created. Create this frame. This is the board controlling the display. This is a TFT uh, 1080p display that I bought. So here we have the power to a display, HDMI cable to the Pi Zero. Currently, this is a passive infrared uh, controller, but it's not. I'm not really using it right now. And then we have the power. And I got a power cable that has an on and off button for the Raspberry Pi. And here's just a reminder of the of the pin out of PIR controller. This is also for controlling the LCD to turn it on and off. So I also put three spacers here. So that way there would be enough room or clearance room here for the boards. So that way there wouldn't be any pressure or strain on the cables against the back of the wall or against the back plate. I think the LCD is also pretty fragile, so that's why I wanted to put something covering it back here. That way if there's anything, there's nothing pressuring it against the back of the wall. So there it is. This place on, the Raspberry Pi is off. Sort of a weird boot up screen. So now we have the power button. Here's the boot up sequence for the Raspberry Pi. And this is a Raspberry Pi Zero. I want to use the least amount of power as possible. The Raspberry Pi is not very powerful, but it's powerful enough, or there's Raspberry Pi Zero W, it's not very powerful, but it's powerful enough to actually run the mirror, so this is what I have set up. It does take maybe like a minute to boot up, but once it's boot up, once it's booted completely, then it's fine. There's nothing that needs to be refreshed or updated very quickly. Now here the script is running in the background, starting the magic mirror, and it's gonna start a Chromium browser with a um, with a window in full screen pointed directly at the local host. So here it is booting up. Cursor, which we're gonna remove in a second. Chromium browser, 
the cursor has been removed. There's your date, calendar pulling on the, the entries. You can see the calendar takes a little bit longer to pull the updated events. But there it is. Once it's booted, then it, I just leave it on completely and it doesn't take up that much power.